Hello everyone, my name is Jamel Smith. Today I'm going to show you how to file your state W-2s electronically. At this time of year I often get calls on how to e-file your state W-2s from QuickBooks and there's really two answers to that question or two parts. In part one I'm going to show you how to e-file within QuickBooks and in the second part I'm going to provide you some instructions on how to manually create an upload file that you can uh, upload through your state's website. So I'm going to go ahead and open up QuickBooks. Okay, as you can see on my screen, my uh, QuickBooks is open. So there's a couple of things that uh, we want to make sure. I'm going to assume that, you, that your enhanced payroll subscription is active. And in this part one, I'm going to um, assume that your state agency supports e-file from QuickBooks. Uh, in the, the blog post on my website, I do have a link back to QuickBooks support website which gives you a list of all the states uh, and their uh, what's supported within QuickBooks and what's not. Okay, the third step we're going to confirm that um, we've activated our e-file using the QuickBooks payroll setup interview. I'm going to do that. I'm going to come up here to employees. I'm going to come down to the payroll center. Below the form section, I'm going to click here on related payroll activities. I'm going to click on edit filing methods. And this is where the QuickBooks uh, setup interview will open. And the first thing I'm going to do is check my filing methods. And you can see here that I'm currently enrolled to e file for the state and for the federal. And the next step would be to check my enrollments, or if I needed to enroll, it gives me instructions on how to do the enrollment. If you have any questions on that, either leave me a comment or you can email me directly down below. Okay, so after we confirm that we were able to e-file and it's been set up and we're enrolled, we come back to our payroll center and we can go to employees, come down to payroll and process payroll forms. And we're going to click the state form. We're going to check our state and we're going to select the appropriate form. In this example we're going to use Georgia. So Georgia State W2 e-file only. We'll open that up. We'll confirm the year of 2012. And now I will point out that this is brand new. Uh, this is in the latest release. I did a um, I updated my payroll tables today and I realized that the Georgia State e-file was active for 2012. So if you haven't updated, I can show you how to do that um, at the end of this section right here. Okay, I'm going to open up my form. I'm going to come down bottom, I'm going to click on Submit Form. I'm going to click on the e-file button. If I'd gotten any errors that popped up, I would go ahead and fix those errors. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on the submit button after I filled out my email address and phone number. I'm also going to check the box there that says to remember my information. Now I get an error here that tells me that the submission's already taken place because it's a duplicate. I'm just going to go ahead and click close. And I'm going to close out of this window. So in this case, I'll get an email within 48 hours telling me that my return has been accepted and or it's been rejected. And I'm going to save and close. Okay, to get a payroll update, you're going to go to the employees menu. You're going to click on get updates. And you want to click on the update button. Once you click that button, you get a status bar that tells you that QuickBooks is updating the payroll tables. Um, once the payroll update completes, you get a pop-up window that says the new tax table has been installed. Click OK. And finally, once you click OK, you'll get a status window that tells you everything that's been updated or what's included in that update. If you have any questions, please email me or leave a comment below on the blog post. Thank you.